Hey there, I'm Dr. Perry, and this is another Make Time Moment. I'm going to talk today about coping with stress. Here are some quick tips that you can do right now at home, at work, that can help you to cope with some of the stressors you're dealing with at work or things that you bring from uh, home to your work. Number one, create a music playlist, something motivational. Could be through iTunes, Spotify, go on YouTube and look up motivational music um, and just listen to that when you know you're dealing with or struggling with a situation that you don't have control over and you can't change as you're coping with this stress. It's helpful to have something to help change your attitude, change your emotions. Um, I found that to be very helpful even all the way through my dissertation back in graduate school. Uh, number two, exercise every day. Make sure you're exercising at least 30 minutes a day. It might be that you forgot to do it in the morning, and so by by midday you're like, ah, oh, I'm feeling kind of depressed and down. Well, good. Go go for a walk. Um, go for a quick jog. Quick, make sure you bring your running shoes. Whatever it is, do some jumping jacks, even exercises at your desk, desk yoga, whatever that is for you. Do it. Um, that will help you to relieve some pressure, but also release endorphins into your body that allow you to feel good and feel um, you know, at peace and calm and deal with some of the stress you're, you're taking on. And the other one is hugs. Who doesn't need a hug? We need like 10 hugs a day at least. And people that don't have that relationship um, component in their life with kids, family, spouse, friends, other loved ones, um, it's difficult for them. They feel isolated and alone and more stressful. Uh, but hugs, hugs have been proven to help reduce stress. So give a hug, give away some stress. Not necessarily to the other person, but you know, it helps you. It helps the both of you. Talk to people. We're so used to being in front of screens, our, our computers, our laptops, our TVs, um, phones, as you know. Um, and you're probably scrolling through this going, yeah, it's time to get out of here. But no, talk to people. Talk to them. Discuss with them some of your stress. Don't complain. Don't make a list of everything that they can't help you change, but maybe it's just good to talk about the emotions you're feeling. Um, laugh more. Laughter actually has, even if it's fake, thank you Mary Poppins, even though if that laughter is fake, <laughs> it actually convinces the brain that it's real even while you're fake laughing. Laugh therapists um, are a real thing. And they actually do help you. And laughter can relieve some of those same endorphins into your body to help you feel good. Um, plus, it's a little bit of a workout. So that's always nice. Massage. I'm sitting in my massage chair right now. I've got my uh, home medics kind of uh, massage chair that I can decide on. Do I want the full back, upper back, lower back? Um, and it's just nice. Sometimes you just need to sit here, relax in your massage chair, feel better about the world by letting all those knots in your back go away. Whatever tip you choose, I hope you use them. Use them at uh, home, at work, share them with others, and just, you know, again, live life on purpose. I gotta get to my massage.